welcome back to the Walk Club YouTube channel. Today we're going to work on this beautiful mint condition E46, not an M3, 320, whatever the hell it is. It's got the, it's got the 2.5 I think? I don't even know. Something like that. But we're turning this into a, a mint drift something. It's gonna, we're going to try to drift. I don't know how to drift. Nobody knows how to drift. Nobody here knows how to drift. You know how to drift? No, we know how to drift. But we got a nice stack of parts. So we're gonna start bolting shit on. That way we can look like we know what the hell we're doing when we show up. Even though we don't know what the hell we're doing when we show up. Seats, steering wheel, shifter, hydro, Angle. Oh, we got it all. Even the essentials. All right. Look at these. Look at this. Angel eyes. I mean, that's essential for drifting. <clears throat> we have. We got things like a hydro, uh, angle kit, shifter, uh, dual calipers. Somewhere in here. Um, there's things. A lot of things. We got some coilovers. Uh, we got harnesses, harness bar, steering wheel. What a unit! Let's show you seats. Oh, seats are just a thing of beauty. Oh, I can't get it out of the box. There we go. Would you look at that? Alcantara. So that'll be dirty in about a minute and a half. But at least it started out pretty. That's what matters, right? So we're gonna start by bolting some of this crap in the car. And then, uh, whoops! Take it out for a, take it out for a rip. First thing we gotta do is get the wrist cutter 3000 out of here. Cause you, you know, it'll poke your eye out. No problem. And then um, put in a new panel. Seatbelt bolted to it? Yep. That's a good look. It's a good look. Just unbolt the seatbelt. Just seat drive belt. it on there. You don't want seatbelt? Nope. Oh, that's a star bit. Don't! See you guys later. What is this? Ann, Ann Taylor Loft gift card. Gift you card? Do you on that? No. Hey, call the number. Call the number. We'll see how much you got. <laughs> you might have made some money on this thing already. I don't know what Ann Taylor is. Google it. Yeah. We'll put that right here for safekeeping. The 46 folks are watching right now going, Dad, stop! I can't do that! Holy! Shit! Alright, show us. Alright, this evidently just pulls off? Mm-hmm. Okay. Alright, and then a boot. And then... Save those. We 
might want those where we're going. You might get hot at the drift, you know? I need mean, windows. Hopefully the windows work. Okay. We're just gonna snip this off right here and right here for the, cause the brackets kinda sit down in there and the handbrake's gonna sit right in this general region here. He came down. Did you see where that went? Oh. Yeah, something down in there. There it is. Good. Okay. Nice. It's a good cut. This is still in the way, though. Yeah, gotta do that. Yeah. How's our wire? Seems to have survived. Great success. That'll do. Set it on here and see what it. What she does. Yeah, uh, that looks pretty good though. Sheesh! What a beaut. How does it attach? You weld it? I believe, yeah, you weld that to that and then you bolt that to it. Sheesh. Give it the boot. You still gotta figure out how to get that rubber boot off there. Oh, yeah. well, no, we don't. We might not have to. I think we do. Is the knob not gonna come off that one? Yeah, the knob comes off, right? Now we're not going to pull off the bottom of the train. Everything's got to come off the top, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's get the car in the air, just moles. No, Nate does not want to watch me try to figure out how this clip works without breaking it. <laughs> Nate's going to be sitting there at his computer like, bruh. As soon as you stop recording, Nate will blow the car. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm still surprised we got footage of me like breaking my pinky. It still yeah. hurts to this day. Oh. <laughs> She's hit. Did you hear my finger? Did you hear it? I didn't hear it. No. Did she crunch? She's probably okay. What do you break your pinky on? You dropped a flywheel on it. <laughs> it was a <laughs> 20 some pounds. Just yeeted. And what video was that in? It I never made it into a video. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that how it always goes? Did you set the airbag off? No. All right. Just got the wires? No, we'll just unhook them. Got the red wire. Didn't explode. Nice. How was it? 16. 16? I've never used a 16 in my life. Oh, I don't know what that is. It was, it's a trophy. We right. achieved something here today. We did. Now it's we got a real one. I feel great about that. <laughs> All right, we cut the middle piece out so that the, the oh, that's a nice fit there. Hey? Look at that. Much better. Yeah, I like that. You like that? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Then maybe you could run it. Like Those should the, still work. Not that we need this yeah, because it's a BMW. Right. I don't know why you got a BMW. I was told that this is the best vehicle for drifting known to man. That's nice. There we go. It's a drift cart. Steering wheel. That, that couples nicely with the green seat, I think. Oh, yeah.
All right, so we're about to replace the differential bushings and subframe bushings. They've already been done. Solid aluminum. Nice. That makes things easy. Now we just get right into the dual caliper setup. Steel toes. <laughs> nice. All right. Finally, they came in handy. Finally, I've been wearing them for years, <laughs> waiting for this moment. Waiting for this moment. <laughs> Never came. Never came. You know, you gotta get lucky sooner or later. Okay, so we haphazardly modified this bracket, added a little spacer, now we're going to weld it all up because we believe that it is somewhat square. Probably not, but that's the best you're going to get here today. We got this one all boogered up too, so I'm gonna lay some fat dimes. No, they won't be dimes, not even close. But I'm gonna I'm gonna cobble it just a little bit, and then uh, we can get to these bushings. Just looks like it's gonna be a real treat too. All right, what you doing? All right, we went ahead and pressed this bushing out with the torch. Now we're just gonna finish pressing it out with the chisel. You got half of it. Oh my chisel's stuck. Bushing's out. That's it, that's all. We'll just uh, clean that up real quick and then push out a bushing in there and then these are ready to go back in the car after we uh, powder coat those. I got powder coat in a can. So we'll just and uh, stick them in the car. I'll be able to see what's going on here. Bam! Then you stick that on there like that and you stick it in the car. So what are the chances you remember what all those bolts go to oh i remember oh good good thing we're doing this right away today yeah so that you're still fresh six in your months mind. later you know all yeah. the information going all right what do you need i think my call it a day i'll come back in six months that way the bolts are more fun you think this is the right bolt it feels right you know it feels on the money You can you can move your foot. Everything in this car is so crusty. What do you mean? Alright, right there. It's cleaner than slip you. Slip your bolt in there. Freaking come out. Probably. Alright, he's going on top. Nice. Alright, so now you take this thing. You gotta find your little wrench. Put your little wrench guy on that guy. Stop falling on my head. Oh. 
Oh no. Sweet baby Jesus. I think I used a bigger impact last time. See, no pizza rings. I mean, you're really doing good work here. There's a lot of adjustments in this thing, which is mildly concerning. We're gonna do a full alignment. All right, now this thing goes in. Yeah, show the people a thing. Yeah. I need those. I'm not getting rid of them. Installed. Put the put the brake pads in the in the thing. I'm not exactly a car guy, so I don't know exactly what I'm doing. Oh, there we go. This one. Uh, is it, I believe you're up. Is this right, Kelly? Yeah. Right. Another moment of the truths. You do get it right. You're gonna have a ball trying to get Alan into this guy. So we got the dual caliper set up now. Uh, for the most part, it's lined up almost perfect. A couple thou off, you know, nothing crazy. Uh, we might have to modify this caliper bracket just to tickle. But for the most part, it's all put back together. We gotta run the lines and hook up the e-brake. You know, the rest of the system. You'll follow along to see that. Looking good. Oh, so what we're gonna do is uh, take some bolts out. We gotta take this lower control arm off. We gotta take this tie rod off. We gotta take the coil over off. Uh, and you know, we're gonna replace all that so that hopefully it's not shit. But it's kind of crusty because we live in the Midwest, so. This is fucking. This is stupid. This is an attachment for the air hammer. Beautiful. All right. Subframe's going back in. We got the new poly motor mounts on. Stick her back up in there. Oh, fuck. What'd you do? I thought you had it in. I did too. <sighs> you gonna land on your head? Yeah. That's not good. All right, slight change of plans. Instead of using these steel control arms with the extensions, we're gonna go ahead and just use um, the old control arms so we don't have to buy all the extra bits to make those work. And these are good, you know. Um, we may have cut that off, but we got some JB welds. So we'll just put that back together. And then, over here, I just painted this up so it looks nice, put a new wheel bearing on, but um, this might be why we needed to extend the control arms, because this is where the hub's supposed to sit, the tie rod's all the way in, and uh, this is where it sits. So I discovered that the tie rod's too long, which is probably why we need to extend the control arms. So all we gotta do is make it look like this. So we cut this off, cut the inner tie rod off about an inch and a half, inch and a quarter or so. And then uh, it's the right length. So when you stick that in, it sits where it's supposed to. So just do that one quick, and then we'll be good to go. Then we're gonna slap the calipers on and paint them green. Nice. Okay. So here you can see the. This is what the tie rod looks like originally with this part that gets squeezed down by this little tapered collar deal there. So we're gonna uncut that off so we got enough play here and then we're going to take this down so that it's about an inch and a quarter shorter
What a beaut. Alright, we should probably tighten some stuff down now, because everything's really loose. <laughs> Get the torque wrench out. Maybe. We're just hand with the impact. Yes. Tight's tight. got it on the ground the alignment is as bad as we thought it was going to be so we'll worry about an actual alignment later the eyeball the eyeball says it's straightish right now we're going to wrap this video here because the car is going to the e46 guy to get the rear subframe reinforcement welded in in the trunk and then when it comes back we'll do the finishing touches and wrap the car wrap the project you know wrap we don't know what color yet, but you'll see that in the next one. See you soon.